Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video, and today we are going to be looking at combination locks. Now, combination locks are much easier than you think, much like all my videos, and I'm going to show you how to make them. And before we get into that, I need to tell you that most of you aren't subscribed. So if you aren't subscribed, or even if you think you are subscribed, go check that you're still subscribed, because you might not be subscribed anymore, because subscribed. Ah. Anyway, let's get on. First thing I'm going to do is show you some of my combination locks that I've made before. Uh, let's take a quick look at this one. This one has a six-digit code. Um, no, can't remember how to get in. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's the only problem with these. And this one here is a four, which you can see was already open because I had the code in there to open that. Let me show you how to build it. Let's go through what you're going to need for this video first. So you are going to need some really simple stuff today. You are going to need an iron door. You are going to need some redstone dust. You are going to need however many levers you want to have in your combination lock. I'm going to go for four, but I've got five on me. Uh, you're going to need redstone torches. You can have as many redstone torches as you want, but um, you will need at least one. I would recommend more. Uh, some pink wool if you want to look like a pro, and some blocks of your choice. I'm using calcite because calcite is cool. First thing you're going to do is build a doorway. It sounds simple, but it's not. All right, I'm going to show you how to place a door. Did you think you knew how to place a door? You don't know how to place a door. I'll show you. So this is probably how you place a door. It's how I used to place a door, but we're going to show you how to actually place a door. You're going to come and place it by pointing at this bottom block here. You see how I did that? I do it again. That is how you place a door, people. It's as easy as that. All right, next thing you're going to do is build along here. So we're going to build a four lever combination lock. So I'm going to build four along here, three, four, and then one extra for luck. And then what you're going to do is just fill in your wall like so. And then add your levers. So I'm going to add four along here. And then we're going to come through to the back. Now, this is where the magic happens. First thing we're going to do is block off this doorway. When you're going into your house, you don't want to be seeing what's behind the curtain. You don't want to see what's in the combination lock. Uh, next thing you're going to do is pick your combination. So we're going to pick this one, this one, and this one. That will mean that when we are trying to unlock our door, we need to do this one, this one, and this one. And the block that you're not going to do, you're going to put some wool in, like so. Next thing you're going to do is block these blocks, break these blocks under here. And then we are going to have wool along here as well. Now, like so. Okay, so what we've got now is a signal, as you can see. Now, these are called knock gates. And the way it works is that when they are not on... Wait, it's not working. It's that one. Uh, anyway, back to my wonderful... Right. Anyway, there we go. So um, that's important. So when you're doing the redstone down here, redstone only goes into a block if it actually goes into it. So the redstone signal needs to go into a block like this. If you do four like this, you can see that it doesn't go into that block anymore. But if you break that one, it does, which is what happened just there. Uh, I'm not going to edit that out. Because it's important you guys know it. So if you come across that, that's why. If you want to avoid it, put a block in there. Then you know that the signal's coming down here and going into that block that's under the door, which is the important bit. Okay. So in theory now, to unlock my door, I need to do this, this, and this. There we go. And all that's doing is changing these to an off by changing these to an on. And the reason for that is it's a knock gate. So all a knock gate is, I will show you. A knock gate is when you send a signal into here, you want it to not come out the other side. Like so. And then when you don't have a signal, 
it does have a signal coming out the other side. That is a knock gate. You might have heard people say it. Mumbo says it a lot. But that's all it is. It's saying that when you do have a signal going in here, you don't have a signal coming out the other side. It's not going through. As simple as that. Um, right. That was a little aside, wasn't it? Now, I know you're wondering, four combination lock of uh, on or off is only 16 combinations. It won't take people long to do 16 combinations. So how can we make it more difficult? Well, that's the easy bit. All you need to do is make your wall longer. There we go, we've made it too longer now. Now what we need to do is decide what you want your extra combination to be. So if we make it like this, now, not only do we have to have this one, this one, and this one down, you also need this one at the end. That's how you extend it. It's as easy as that. And that's it. That is how you do a combination lock. It's easier than you thought, isn't it? It really is. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave me a big thumbs up and a comment of anything you want me to show you in future. And as always, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. And most of you aren't subscribed. Thank you so much. Goodbye.